Warning, heavy spoilers for the Henry Stickman series. Go and play their games if you don't want to be spoiled on a few endings. If you've already left, or if you want to stay, then let's get on to the moveset. The pure-blooded thief Henry Stickman joins the battle in Super Smash Brothers. Henry Stickman's from the game Henry Stickman, where you choose different options to finish his task, whether it be breaking out of prison, stealing jewels, or destroying a rocket. He comes past with the Top Hat Clan, the government, and Ellie, his partner in crime. And in his newest game, completing the mission, you can choose multiple routes correlating with your previous run-ins with them. To start off, Henry Stickman will be a lightweight fighter, as he is a stickman, with medium run speed, around the speed of Mario. Henry Stickman will be able to wall jump, but won't be able to crawl. For his entrance, Henry will hop out of Charles' helicopter, and then Charles will fly off. For his jab, he will punch twice and then headbutt. But if he does a multi jab, he will do his. This multi jab will do a decent amount of damage, but unlike the actual move, the opponent won't be sent into an alternate timeline. For his side tilt, he will do his knife swipe attack that was seen during his Final Fantasy fight against the right hand man. For his up tilt, he will do the startup for his cheap fighting combo move, shown during completing the mission, where he will copy Ryu's and Ken's up tilt, where they toss an uppercut into the air. For his down tilt, he will crouch down and swipe a crowbar across the floor. For his side smash, he will take out his trusty hammer and will swing it at the opponent. If you manage to use this while an opponent shoots a projectile, you will reflect it back, referencing the hammer shown in completing the mission. For his up smash, he will do his earth bending move from fleeing the complex where he will stomp on the ground and a piece of the ground will come up and strike the opponent. For his down smash, he will reference Ness's down smash along with his earthbound fight against the right hand man. He will do the same thing Ness does during his down smash. For his neutral air, he will do the vaulting pull and spin it around to hit the opponent just like Palutena's neutral air. For his forward air, he will do a falcon knee. This will do less damage, but it will be pretty much the same as Captain Falcon's forward air. For his back air, he will smack the opponent with his money bag, filled up with a heavy jewel to do some massive damage. For his up air, he will once again take from Captain Falcon. His up air will have him do a spin kick into the air. For his down air, he will do his second move from his cheap fighting combo, where it copies Ryu and Ken's down air, but it will actually have two hitboxes to make sure the combo works. For his grab, he will give the opponent a handshake, but be careful because he has a deadly joy buzzer in his hands. If you pummel him or use his forward throw, he will shock the opponent, and for the forward throw, he will shock them so hard they stop in the air for a bit so you can do an easy combo. For his back throw, he will do a so long, Bowser, and toss the opponent back. Referencing Mario's back throw is something Henry and Ellie do in completing the mission. For his up throw, he will do a suplex on the opponent, referencing his suplex attack during his Final Fantasy reference. For his down throw, he will place the opponent on the ground and staple them to the ground, referencing what he did to Reginald Copperbottom, stapling him to the rocket as revenge for Reginald's betrayal. For Henry's dash attack, he will simply do a roll, referencing Donkey Kong's dash attack. 
Now, on to his specials, which will be his gimmick, where he can choose four different specials for each special. This references the fact that in every game, he has four or more choices to either fail or prevail in his missions. For his first note will be, he will do a Stickman Punch, and punch the opponent hard. This will do less damage than regular Falcon Punch, but will be faster, and it won't be fire. For his second neutral B, he will use the Corrupt Tick. He will hold the Corrupt Tick in his hands, and then throw it at the opponent. If it latches on the opponent, they will do a T-Pose and glitch out, doing minor flower damage. This will last a few seconds, depending on the amount of damage you have, or how much you button mass. For his third neutral B, he will do Finger Guns, which will shoot out invisible bullets. It will act just like Joker's neutral B. If you hold down the button, you can shoot out with both fingers, and if you spam, you will shoot a barrage of bullets. For his final neutral B, he will use Pocket to pull another projectile just like Villager's neutral special. You can also throw the projectiles back at the opponent. For his first side B, he will use a mirror to reflect projectiles. This references his fight against Mr. Macbeth, where Henry can reflect his beam. For his second side B, he will use a cannon. You can quickly angle the cannon to propel you upwards. This references stealing the diamond, where he uses a cannon to try to go through the door. For his third side B, he will use his scooter from breaking the bank. It will act like Wario's bike, but a bit slower. You can also press A to spin the scooter and hit the opponent right in their shins. For his fourth and final side B, he will shoot a rocket launcher just like Snake's side B. This references the launcher from escaping the prison. You won't be able to move it, but it reacts to the environment and won't explode until it either hits an opponent or stays out for a few seconds. For his first up B, he will use his infamous teleporter. Instead of teleporting him to a random place, you will manually set where he goes, just like Zelda's up B. For his second up B, he will use his wrist strap grappling hook from completing the mission. It will act like a tether up B, like Joker, Min Min, and Byleth. For his third up B, he will use an anti-gravity cap, which will make him levitate for about 5 seconds until it breaks and he falls down. This was used in breaking the bank where he fails to get on the building, but it will work in Smash. For his final up B, he will use Sonic's up B, Spring. He will form a spring just like Sonic and go high into the air. For his first down B, he will eat food. Yeah, that's it. He will eat food and heal a tiny bit. This may seem stupid, but there is a chance that one of the food he eats will be a sandwich and he'll become super buff for a few seconds and his attacks will do more damage and will take less knockback. For his second down B, he'll use a rocket to go across the stage just like Villager's Lloyd rocket. The only thing different is that you can both turn and go up or down using the joystick. For his third down B, he will use his disguise kit. He will make a mask of one of the opponents and copy their neutral B, just like Kirby. For his fourth down B, he will do his iconic and infamous distraction dance. You may think this should be a taunt, but if you use this move, then the opponent will also do the distraction dance. That's right. Every character can do the distraction dance. Every character! This will look similar to Mewtwo's down B, where they will be confused for a few seconds depending on the damage. Finally, for his final smash, he will call Charles to come to the fight and do the best thing he can. I got the perfect plan. This is the greatest plan. This is the greatest plan indeed, because if you hit the opponent with this final smash, then the helicopter will do a massive 40% damage, and the explosion acts like a smart bomb, which will add up the damage to about 60 to 70%. It's a bit difficult to hit, but if you know how to control a crashing helicopter, then you'll be just fine. Just don't be too sad about Charles. For his taunt, he will eat food, but this time it won't heal or give you a buff. He will make a sheep noise. And finally, he will go inside of Snake's box, acting the same as Snake's taunt. For his victory animation, he will headbang with the diamond next to him. He will ride in his tank and then ride off the screen. And finally, he will show off his jewel collection with a smirk. For us off in the costumes, we have Charles, Cyborg Henry, 
Nano Suit Henry, Disguise Henry, Top Hat Henry, Ellie, and Top Hat Ellie. For his classic mode, Pure Blooded Thief, he will fight against thieves, them being Joker, Wario, King Dedede, Snake, King K. Rule, Ganondorf, and finally, Giga Bowser. His boxing ring is just plain epic. Here is Henry Stickman Kirby. Here's Henry Stickman when you're about to unlock him. Here's Henry Stickman when you do unlock him. And here's Henry Stickman's battle icon. According to analytics, only 3% of people have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you all for watching my videos, but if you want to see more, subscribe and ring the bell. I'll see you guys in the next video.